Hello, hello, Ben Smith here with eTrends Tax and Accounting. The uh, Treasury's getting their uh, presses uh, warmed up tonight as they await the passage of this two trillion some odd dollar uh, stimulus bill that is still not passed. I just want to I want you to listen to how many times I say billion in the next minute. I'm going to give you kind of a quick rundown of the things that are in that in this bill. Um, $1,200 direct payments to individuals, $2,400 direct payments to couples, $500 to uh, dependent children. Uh, my rough back back of the napkin calculation is, is maybe $400 billion in direct payments coming from the federal government. $600 extra per week for unemployment benefits. I don't know what that account amounts to, but uh, some billions there. $367 billion in loans for small businesses, most of or many of which will be forgiven and become grants. $150 billion for state and local governments, $130 billion for hospitals, $500 billion in loans for industry. These others aren't even worth mentioning because they're only in the millions. $25 million for the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. <laughs> oh, and then $400 million for election security and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Needless to say, I mean, it's not passed. We don't have the final details, and it sounds like even when it is passed, they might have to make some correction legislation to get it to get it fixed, and they could, of course, add some money into those. So the point is is uh, we are going to be raining cash down from, uh, from Washington over the next couple months. And this is actually, this is only the first installment. Uh, those direct payments looks like there might be, uh, where did I see that? It looks like there might be another direct payment round come may if this whole thing is still uh going on so yeah those uh, those presses are going to be cranking out the cash fast uh i'll let the i'll let the pundits decide what that means but anyway there you go have a great day <laughs>